Today we celebrate the feast of all the Carmelite saints and the mass intention will be for the whole Carmelite order, for the repose of the soul of Sister Cecilia Cloete, OCD, and Salvation Gaetan and all the poor souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I will bring them to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. For my house is the house of prayer for all the people. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, may the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, and the prayers of all the saints of Carmel help us to walk steadfastly in their footstep, and by our prayers and good works, ever further the cause of your Church. We ask these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in, in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him, with all those that he has called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son, so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this, those he called, he justified, and with those he justified, he shared his glory. After saying this, what can we add? With God on our side, who can be against us? Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Christ Jesus? No. He not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand, he stands and pleads for us. Nothing, therefore, can come between us and the love of Christ, even if we are troubled or worried, or being persecuted, or lacking food or clothes, or being threatened or even attacked. These are the trials through which we triumph, 
by the power of God, of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that seeks your face. Lord, this is the people that seeks your face. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. Lord, he shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the people who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people who seeks your face. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is a true family that has overcome the sins of the world. By following Christ, it entered the glorious kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure of heart. They shall see God. Happy the peacemakers. They shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. We are celebrating the saints of the Carmelite uh, family. Plenty already have been canonized, maybe a minority of them. The majority of Carmelite saints are not canonized, thanks be to God. And in this family of Carmel, all started with a mountain. And that's why the, the Mount Carmel is represented in this chapel as it was the starting point of those monks who wanted to live a hermit life after St. Elijah. And we don't know who are the founders of Carmel. Carmel has, uh, is among the, those um, uh, religious community whose founder we don't know. And in fact, that's not a problem. We just know they were monks. What we know, they receive this rule of life of St. Albert of Jerusalem. And 
they were sent out when the Muslim took over the, the place once again. And those, those first saints, they were, they, was, they were just lost to the world and seeking to be belonging to God only. They were hermits. And it remains the main mark of this religious community. And as they arrive in Europe, uh, some remain uh, very contemplative, others started to become also apostolic. And a second moment was decisive with the St. John's talk and, and the scapula, the Blessed Mother, how Mary was associated to this uh, order. I don't know if it was the first intuition. No, most probably not. It was mainly hermit life and Elijah, but it became Mary. And uh, we know that in Fatima, Mary wanted to be known as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So it's, uh, it's something that Mary associates herself with the Carmelite order. And after, after a while, many monasteries grew up and it was flourishing, but um, there was a loss in terms of interiority. And that was the reform of the Carmel of St. Teresa of Avila. A recentering into, into interiority, into prayer. Um, it was not enough to be consecrated and to be together following the charism. It was necessary to recenter everything on Christ, the living Christ, and on interiority with the, 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 the vision that Carmel has to be smaller community in order to live personal relationship among the sisters, to have sisterhood, and not those big community where everybody finally could do any, anything and there were groups in it, etc., etc. So no, it was to be a family. Carmel has to be a family. And this brought a lot of, of saints. And there had been other branches of Carmelite order, more apostolic. Uh, the old carms survive, so God wanted them to survive. And that's, that's the richness of this family. And that's why there are different color in this family. Those who are more uh, pure of heart, those who are more poor in spirit, those who are more uh, thirsting for, for the justice. Uh, but this family is a family where we could say interiority is a key in order to, to mount the mountain of the Lord, Mount Carmel, but here in the sum, the mountain of the Lord. So it's Mount Zion. Mount Zion and Mount Carmel, uh, I would say, has fused in order to, that this climbing of the Mount Carmel be a descending into oneself. And that's Saint, uh, Saint uh, Benedict who say that. In order to go up to heaven, you have to go down into humility. And uh, Saint Teresa of Avila would say humility and interiority where Christ is encountered. So let us ask all this family of saints uh, to continue to produce a lot of saints of Carmel. We need Carmel in the church and we need first of all saints in the church. And Carmel is a sure way of holiness. And so May the Lord, in this place, 
give us the joy of uh, sisters who will be uh, following Christ and reservedly and in their own poverty and may the Lord grant to this place yeah, to produce saints uh, so that um, the church in Cape Town will have the, the blessing of the Lord to the intercession of those Carmelite sisters and hopefully those saints. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of our holy Holy Church. Lord God, the example of the saints of Carmel inspire us to offer with greater devotion the saving victim. May we, like them, give strong witness to the power of your presence and have a foretaste true faith of heavenly glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness 
and bring it to experience on this earth, the gift you promise in the new world to come. And so with the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but the only Savior and my With such a cloud of witnesses around us, let us steadfastly run the race that lies before us, our eyes fixed on Jesus who inspires and perfects our faith.
Let us pray. God our Father, Christ the living bread renew us. Let Christ the teacher of perfection instruct us. Following the example of the saints of Carmel, may we unceasingly contemplate you with Christ and be ready to lay down our lives for our brethren, with him who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who set apart the Carmelite order for the honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, clothe you with her virtues and make you worthy of her service. Amen. May he who endowed Carmel with the spirit of the prophet Elijah make you fervent in prayer and zealous for his honor. May he who blessed Carmel, he, may he who blessed Carmel with a host of saintly sons and daughters make you their worthy brothers and sisters on earth and partakers of their everlasting fellowship in heaven. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, the hour of redemption against the wickedness and sins of the world. May God be living in me now, we pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into that Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the human souls. Amen.